For many years, the Dream Chaser space plane has been waiting for its first flight. This winged spacecraft, made by Sierra Space, was first shown to the public back in 2004. But even after all this time, it has still not launched. The reason is not because it is broken or incomplete. It is mostly because the rocket that was supposed to carry it into space is still not ready. Other rockets, like SpaceX's Falcon 9, are launching almost every week. But Dream Chaser has a special shape, with wings, and it cannot fit inside the fairing of Falcon 9. This made it hard to find the right rocket to carry it. But now there is new hope. A new type of rocket set up from SpaceX may finally be able to launch Dream Chaser into space. If you enjoy space updates like this, make sure to subscribe so you never miss a launch story. Dream Chaser is built to be a useful part of the United States space program. NASA added it to the list of spacecraft that can deliver cargo to the International Space Station. It joins others like the Cygnus spacecraft and the Dragon capsule. Having more than one vehicle available is important. Many experts think it is risky for NASA to depend too much on only one company like SpaceX. Later on, when a version of Dream Chaser that can carry astronauts is ready, it could be used as a backup option. Unlike the very large Starship rocket, which needs special support on the ground, Dream Chaser is small and flexible. It can be used for missions that need to happen quickly. It also has the advantage of landing like an airplane on a runway. This makes it easier and faster to get cargo after landing. This is better than Dragon, which lands in the ocean, or Starliner, which lands in remote areas. Dream Chaser is also cheaper to use in some ways. It can be used more than once, which saves money. It also uses regular airport runways instead of custom-built landing areas. This makes it simpler and more affordable to operate. Some people say Dream Chaser is too small to carry enough cargo. But Sierra Space made it as efficient as possible. It can carry up to 5,500 kilograms of cargo. That is about the same as the Dragon capsule and more than what is required for most cargo missions to the space station. Dream Chaser also focuses on carrying pressurized cargo. This means it can safely deliver scientific tools and equipment. With the help of an extra part called the Shooting Star Cargo Module, the total space inside it increases to 33 cubic meters. That is almost four times more than what the Dragon capsule offers. It also uses fuel that is not harmful to the environment. And because of its shape, it can be launched on many different rockets. But the biggest problem for Sierra Space is finding a rocket that can launch Dream Chaser. Right now, it depends on the Vulcan Centaur rocket from United Launch Alliance. But that rocket has been delayed many times. SpaceX launches more often, so they seem like a better choice. However, the current Falcon 9 rocket does not have a fairing large enough to fit Dream Chaser inside. Dream Chaser is about 9 meters long and 4.5 and meters wide. The Falcon 9 fairing is only 5.2 meters wide and about 13 meters tall. Because of its wings, Dream Chaser needs more space than that. So, Falcon 9 cannot be used. But in January, a new photo of a larger Falcon Heavy fairing appeared online. This new fairing is taller than the original one and may be big enough to fit Dream Chaser. This new fairing is about 18.6 meters tall and was designed for special missions for the military and the Lunar Gateway. It is not reusable because it is too heavy and complex, but this may not be a problem if it helps launch Dream Chaser. It gives Sierra Space a new option. They can think about using this version of Falcon Heavy for Dream Chaser's first mission. Falcon Heavy is one of the most powerful rockets in the world. It is made by connecting three Falcon 9 boosters together. It is 70 meters tall and almost 40 meters wide. When fully fueled, it weighs over 3 million pounds. It uses 27 Merlin engines, nine on each booster. These engines produce over 5 million pounds of force during liftoff. That is about as much power as several large airplanes taking off together. Falcon Heavy can carry more than 63,000 kilograms into low Earth orbit. It can send nearly 17,000 kilograms all the way to Mars. What makes it even more special is that it is reusable. The two side boosters usually land safely and can be used again. However, the middle part of the rocket is harder to land and is not always recovered. Most of the time, SpaceX does not try to recover the center booster. 
Landing it takes more fuel and lowers the amount of cargo the rocket can carry. By not recovering it, they can deliver bigger and heavier payloads. This makes Falcon Heavy perfect for big and important missions. And maybe soon, for launching Dream Chaser 2. Dream Chaser's story began in 2014, when its maker, Sierra Nevada Corporation, lost a legal battle against NASA. At that time, the agency gave contracts for astronaut flights to two companies, SpaceX and Boeing. Sierra Nevada Corporation was left out. Their plan was to use Dream Chaser, which looked like a small space shuttle. But the other companies chose to build capsules, which had already been proven to work. In 2016, things changed. NASA gave Dream Chaser another chance. It was selected to carry cargo to the space station, but not astronauts. Even though that was not the original goal, it still meant Dream Chaser had a future. Today, Sierra Space is focused on getting the cargo version ready to fly. The first one is called Tenacity, and it is in the final stages of testing. The first flight of Tenacity was supposed to happen in 2021. But now, it is delayed until the third quarter of 2025. The biggest reason for the delay is the rocket. Tenacity was supposed to ride on United Launch Alliance's new Vulcan Centaur rocket, but that rocket has been delayed because the company needed to finish military missions first. So, Dream Chaser had to wait. Sierra Space did have a backup plan. They thought about using the Atlas V rocket, but that rocket is no longer being made. Only a few are left, and most are already assigned to other missions like Boeing Starliner. That makes it hard for Dream Chaser to get a launch slot. With all these problems, Sierra Space might have to make some big decisions. They might look to companies like Blue Origin for inspiration. In 2023, Blue Origin changed leadership, and soon after, their new Glenn rocket finally launched in 2025. Sierra Space is going through a similar change. In late 2024, their chief executive officer stepped down. A new leader stepped in, and now the company hopes for a fresh start. If Dream Chaser finally launches and performs well, it could become a serious competitor to other spacecraft. It may even do better than Boeing Starliner, which has had many issues. While the Dragon capsule from SpaceX was faster to enter service, its capsule design limits what it can do. It splashes down in the ocean while Dream Chaser can land gently on runways. This smooth landing is very important for scientific research. Some experiments and tools can be damaged during a hard landing. But Dream Chaser's airplane-like return makes sure the cargo is safe. This is why scientists and mission planners are excited about it. It could be perfect for time-sensitive missions and delicate cargo. Dream Chaser might have started as the underdog, but its design and purpose still make it very important. If it finally launches in 2025, it may change how we send and return cargo from space. Let's see if the long wait was worth it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.